Hi, I'm Haz, and I'm going to tell you a story while you watch this drawing that I did. This is the story of the Vampires of Drakelow. Near the beginning of the 11th century, there was a small village owned by the Abbey of Burton. Two peasants living in this village became really disenchanted, and they were like, you know what, I don't like it here, let's go somewhere else. So they went somewhere else. They ran off to find a new home in a village called Drakelow, which was owned by a Norman aristocrat named Roger. Because apparently people just be out here owning villages in the olden days. And also people unironically are called Roger, so... When they got to their new village, they told loads of lies, just horrible gossip, scandalous stuff about the Abbey of Burton. And they were just like, oh, we fled because they're evil overlords. So the good guys in their new village were just like, we're not going to stand for this. So they stormed the Abbey's storehouses and they plundered and they robbed all their goods. They took all their farm stock and stuff and they took it back to Drake Glow. A fight broke out between the two sides and even though the side of the Abbey was severely outnumbered, all the monks prayed, God, give us thy biceps, defeat these men in a fight and they managed to win. So there was a lot of things stolen and a lot of people dead on either side. The Abbey lost lots of crops and stuff like that, and Drakelow lost lots of lives. Now the next day, the two peasants who had made up all this salacious gossip, they sat down to eat, and they suddenly just died. The end. <laughs> no, I'm joking. They were buried in the churchyard in wooden coffins, but later that day, they were spotted walking through the village with their coffins on their backs. Now I don't know about you, but that's never happened after any funeral I've attended. They would prowl up and down streets, they'd go up to doors and they'd knock on them and call out the names of residents within. Now that's creepy enough in itself, but it got creepier. The people whose doors had been knocked and whose names had been called suddenly came down with a plague. Don't you hate it when that happens? All but three of these unfortunate souls died of the plague. Now Count Roger, if you remember Roger, the guy who owned Drakelow, he was real scared. He realised, like, all this started from the two peasants and their drama and maybe I shouldn't have plundered an abbey. And he ran and he begged forgiveness of the abbot and he commanded his men to bring all the crops and everything he'd stolen from the abbey and then some. He's like peppering some of our crops and stuff, just add a little bit of interest in that, you know, and just return it all to the monks. Now while this was going on, the three villagers who hadn't died of the plague exhumed the bodies of the two peasants because they were like, you shouldn't be walking around with your coffins on your back, let's see what's happening. The bodies were perfectly preserved in their coffins, still wearing their funeral shrouds over their faces, though they were both stained with blood around the mouth. The three villagers were like, right, that's enough of that, and they chopped off the peasants' heads and placed them between the legs in the grave. The peasants' legs, not the survivors' legs. <laughs> Next, they removed the corpses' hearts, but reburied the rest of the remains. They placed the hearts in a fire and burnt them from sunrise to sunset. Finally, the hearts cracked in the fire, and a crow flew up in the flames, which the villagers assumed was probably an evil spirit. And the peasants never rose again, so they were probably correct. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this little story. For more stuff like this, follow me on Instagram and YouTube. It's at hasjohnart for both, because I'm inventive when naming my accounts. And he commanded his men bring all the craps, craps, <laughs> crops, crops, bitch, it's a freaking crop.